Uh, okay, my final topic of the day, my Malkin's moments. I have some great Malkin's moments for you. In the world of PGA, Luke List won the Farmers Insurance Open. The 37-year-old won his first career PGA Tour event, defeated Will Zalatoris in a playoff hole at the Farmers Insurance Classic. Anytime you are in your mid to late 30s in the PGA and you win your first PGA Tour event, that deserves a Malkin's moment and a big shout out to Luke List. That was very, very impressive. Shout out to the 86-year-old Willie Ori, who received a congressional gold medal that was signed into act by President Joe Biden yesterday. He was awarded the congressional gold medal for a bevy of reasons. Obviously, he was the first black player to play in the NHL. He broke the NHL's colored barrier in 1958 on January 18th in a game between the Boston Bruins and the Montreal Canadians. He played two seasons, 45 total games with the Boston Bruins, 1957 to 1958 season and the 1960-1961 season. He had his number 22 jersey retired by the Boston Bruins very recently, becoming just the 12th man in the history of that of that franchise and that organization to have his jersey retired. He was inducted into the NHL Hall of Fame in 2018, and he's just the ultimate ambassador of the sport. He is not only the actual diversity ambassador of the NHL, but he also serves as the NHL's director of youth and development as well. The impact that he's had on the game of hockey and on the integration of blacks in professional sports was profound, was profound, and I, I sincerely applaud uh, President Biden for signing this into act. It's a very worthy, worthy uh, medal to be handed out to Willie Ori. So congratulations to him. The city of Boston even dedicated January 18th as the Willie Ori Day. So it's befitting, and congratulations to him. Congratulations to Josh Giddy. The, Oak, uh, oh, the Oklahoma City Thunder rookie posted his 11th double-double of the season, which actually breaks Russell Westbrook's double-double record for the most double-doubles recorded by a rookie in Oklahoma City Thunder history. Westbrook had 10. Giddy already has 11. He's been having a tremendous rookie campaign, averaging nearly 12 points per game, 7.5 rebounds, 6 assists, and a steal per night. His rebounds and assists per game leads the team as a rookie. That leads the team, and he was just selected to play in the NBA Rising Stars game uh, at All-Star Weekend, which is going to take place in a couple weeks in Cleveland. So major shout-out to Josh Giddy, who's having a fantastic, fantastic rookie campaign. Final two, big shout-out to the late, great legend Kobe Bryant on this day. In NBA history, on February 2nd, 2009, he broke Michael Jordan's record for the most points scored by an opposing player at Madison Square Garden. He scored 61 points. I remember this game vividly. I remember this game sitting at my couch watching him basically reenact some of the iconic moves by Michael Jordan, the pump fake. The spin, the lean-in jumper, Kobe's always put on spectacular performances, spectacular shows at every venue, but especially in Madison Square Garden. And it was only fitting that we give him a shout-out on this specific day. And finally, we have some news out of Washington. Boys and girls, no longer Washington football team, the Washington Commanders. Yes, they finally picked their name. They chose a name. After 87 years of the Washington Redskins and then two temporary years as the Washington football team, the organization has finally chosen to go with the Washington Commanders, paying homage to being in the capital, to the military. And obviously that was important to Ron Rivera and that entire organization being based in the district's capital. And obviously the quest for a new name began on July of 2020 after the murder of George Floyd in Minnesota. A lot of protests around the Redskins. And then, of course, 
they were in this two year long process of trying to change the name. Well, now we've got a new name. Now we've got a new name, Washington Commanders. I actually like it. When I had offered up my suggestions for nicknames, I didn't list the commander simply because it had already been listed. So I came up with my own. But either way, I do think it's a good choice. It's uncontroversial. It's incontroversial. It is emblematic of what that region is about. So Washington Commanders, honestly, just it beats the Washington football team. We needed to have some kind of mascot for crying out loud. So now we finally do. Uh, that's all the time that I got for today. Thank you so much for joining me right here on Morning Joe every single Monday and Wednesday morning, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 to 11 Central, and 8 to 9 a.m. Pacific. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube page, Morning Joe, J-O with Jonah Malkin on YouTube, Jonah Malkin, uh, at Jonah underscore Malkin on Twitter, at Morning underscore Joe underscore on Twitter as well, jmalk97 on Instagram, and Jonah Malkin on TikTok. That's all the time that I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching and for tuning in. And as always, have a lovely rest of your morning.